Hi guys, so today I'm going to do something a little different and make a little button, an embroidered button, which like these, not this pattern, I'm going to do a different, not this flower, I mean I'm going to do a different one today. So I've pre-threaded the two colors I'm going to use just to save time, that's a yellow and like a mm, brown, greeny brown kind of color for the stem. So I'm going to start with the stem. I don't know if you can see, but I made a little rough guide of how wide I need my to stay within so it doesn't exceed the button. So I'm just going to make probably two stems kind of fork off a little and then we'll go right off of here this way a little this way go do three again maybe one here oops and then one here good. Now with my yellow, start doing some French knots. Now these might look hard but they're one of the easiest embroidery stitches to do. And the way I do it, I just hold this bit of thread. Actually let me just secure it so it doesn't pull when I pull on it just by going down and back up again. See? Now, I hold this here, get my needle, wrap it around, let's say three times for this one, and then go right back in. And I keep hold of this thread just so it doesn't well, go over the place and stays nice and uniform until I get to pull it all the way through. See, there's one. Again, you can wrap it two, three times, depends on how big you want it. Let's do one with two. Three. I'm just going to make it kind of like a little blossom branches, but I guess yellow instead of the usual pinks and reds. I like yellow.
I think this might be enough for this branch. Now move over here. I think I'll do maybe more on this one than the other side because it kind of comes over this, fill out this side a little bit more. My thread is getting twisted. There we go. I just let it hang upside down to release the tension. Let's see, let's do two. And then on this one, I think I'll stick to two again. Really not that much noticeable difference. And one here. That one was a little loose. So let's squeeze one in right about here. Tighten it up a bit. And one here. Didn't you can't really go wrong. Just put them where you think they look good. I think I'll do one more right here. A three. Fill up this little space. There we go. And of course the messy side. Don't know what I've got going on here, but either way, I guess you can tie it off. Or you can leave them loose. I don't think it really matters when you're doing buttons because it's got a back on it, so they're not going to work loose, but I don't know. I think just for peace of mind, I just like to tie mine. Anyways. A little fiddly. Should have paid attention to the back while I was working so I didn't make so much of a mess. I bought these um, button kits today at Hobby Lobby and the sewing notions right now were 40% off I think yeah I think 40% off so pretty much buy one get one free because I bought two and they're normally uh, I will show you now which ones I got just I already had the kit from the last time I bought one which I will also show you 
Okay, there's that neat. Okay, so this is the kit for making the buttons. And last time I purchased this kit and it came with three buttons. And I think it was about $3, same as these, which I got today, just the buttons, $2.79. And I bought two packets of these. So, just release the loop, the hoop, sorry. So my button, about that big, and we want enough space around for the button to catch into the back part. Trust me, I've made the mistake of cutting it way too short before. Hopefully I haven't done that today. And these refills show you how to do it as well. Like you have your mold, your fabric. I had to just read it real quick. <laughs> so push all this in. Then you're gonna, oh, my nails are a little too long to do this. Fold all this fabric in. And then you get your, hopefully I didn't cut it too short. This, oh, I'm trying to even it out. This helps to push it in. Uh, I might not have cut it a tiny bit too short, but I mean, I'm always afraid that it's not gonna, that it's gonna be too much fabric and it's not gonna fit in. Okay. Well, at least you know I'm not, not perfect. Nobody is. Okay, I'm gonna try and push this down. Not having much luck on that side. Try another back, maybe it's that. Try again. Okay. The same side again. What am I doing wrong? I was just thinking, I'm going to edit this out, but I'm not. Because. I'm doing something wrong here. What am I doing wrong? <sighs> Fabric, the mold, maybe it's too thick. But I. I've used this before, so it shouldn't be. So, excuse my squeaky chair. Hmm. 
I'm thinking it's too thick. Oh no, there it goes. This is easy, I like this. So I think that got it. Okay, after all that. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cute? A little embroidered button. And I, oh, I'm using um, just this felt, craft felt from Walmart. I think it was, I want to say 28 cents or 78 cents. I'm pretty sure it was 28 cents. So I got that. I used a tiny hoop, just two colors that I already had, any colors you want, whatever flower you want. Just simple French knots, which I showed you how easy that is to do. And look at that cute little button. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.